Love All right. That. Oh. Meanwhile, the president of the United States tonight is going to test the constitutional limits of being president. He's going to bypass Congress completely and give an executive order on immigration. This is big. That's why we have roused James Rosen, our Fox News chief Washington correspondent, to fill us in on the details. James. It is big. Good morning to you, Steve, Elizabeth, and Clayton. In tonight's primetime address, the president is expected to announce deferred action. That means a reprieve from deportation for up to 5 million illegal immigrants. These are parents of children who are here legally or who may themselves have been brought here as children. The move comes almost two years after the president used a speech at Del Sol High School in Las Vegas to challenge Republicans to enact comprehensive immigration reform. And it will be to that same high school that President Obama will return after tonight's speech to sign his executive order. So what I'm going to be laying out is the things that I can do with my lawful authority as president to make the system work better, even as I continue to work with Congress and encourage them to get a bipartisan, comprehensive bill that can solve the entire problem. The president's order will also likely expand visas for high-tech workers and contain some measures aimed at beefing up border security. After the president did this last time, we saw all those children uh, come to the border. Understand this, many of those children never made it here because they were killed along the way. Other children were tortured, others were raped. It is the, the United States and the president would be an accomplice to the inhumane way that people would be treated who come here or try to come here because of the order. And leading Republicans say they are already reviewing options for challenging this order in court. Back to you guys in New York. All right, James, thank you very much. The president's going to make his statement uh, tonight at 8 p.m. Yes. Apparently the White House asked the networks, hey, do you mind if we have 10 minutes of time? And the network said, no, it's a busy Thursday night. So the president will be appearing on, you'll see him on Fox News. Plus, right. the 15th annual Latin Grammys will be right. delayed by about 15 minutes so they can have it live on Univision. Of course, they chose it tonight because of the Latin Grammys. Mm -hmm. right. They knew Maybe. that this night we'd have a large Latin audience on television. The Latin Grammys are going to be on. We're going to be flipping on to watch it. Wait, oh, the president's on. We have to wait for the Latin Grammys. The president sure. also said to be in Nevada, uh, right there in Las Vegas, where in Nevada they have a great population there of illegal wait immigrants and families that are I in the public the, school system, the greatest in the nation. I thought the president said, don't don't go to Vegas. Remember that? <laughs> exactly. Said a lot of things that apparently <laughs> Republicans kind of are firing back. Now. We're going to have Judge Napolitano on the show a little bit uh, later. They're coming for you, Steve. Um, it's going that way. Actually, going toward the Today Show <laughs> to break down the legality of this and the constitutional right. authority. And Judge Napolitano, a uh, great constitutional scholar, will be on a little bit to break all the, all that down. But meanwhile, Senator Ted Cruz has come out and says this is absolutely illegal. He spoke to Megyn Kelly last night. Take a listen. We are unfortunately witnessing a constitutional crisis. What President Obama is doing is he is defying the law, he's defying the Constitution. You know, the President quite rightly said just a few weeks ago, his policies were on the ballot all over the country. This last election was a referendum on amnesty. And the American people overwhelmingly rose up and said, no, we don't want lawless amnesty. And I'm sorry to say President Obama's reaction is, is defiant and it is angry. They're, well, of course, uh, probably alluding to the midterm elections yeah. uh, where the president said his policies uh, were there on the ballot. You know, he's specifically also alluding to the, the, the violations that are in the Constitution. Article 2, Section 3, the Take Care Clause, requires the president to take care to execute the laws as they are written. And Article 1, Section 8 gives the U.S. Congress, not the president, the authority to enact immigration policy. Sure. Highlights on that today. You know, uh, presidents for decades have used executive actions like this to do stuff, but never before has it been so broad where a president has used prosecutorial discretion, which means he tells the Department of Justice, okay, let's not enforce the law. But you know what? That guy right there at the podium in Brisbane last week, who's going to be in the White House tonight making his announcement, he considers, at least Josh Ernest says, that this action is a badge of honor to people he made a promise to. Here's Mr. Ernest. We've heard uh, this kind of rhetoric about lawlessness from House Republicans for some time. I know that their most recent statement referred to Emperor Obama. You know, the fact of the matter is, uh, you know, the president is somebody who is willing to examine the law, review the law, and use every element of that law to make progress for the American people. And that is, uh, and if that is something that Republicans are critical of, then that's, you know, maybe a criticism that the president wears with a, with a badge of honor.
The, well, the so president would be criticizing himself. I mean, remember when he said, I'm the president of the United States, not the emperor of the United States? Remember when he said all of these things that are about to follow? Mm -hmm. that, I don't remember. He I, I don't remember. Do you have any videotape? I do. <laughs> the biggest problems that we're facing right now have to do with George Bush trying to bring more and more power into the executive branch and not go through Congress at all. With respect to uh, the notion that I can just suspend deportations through executive order, uh, that's just not the case. Now, I know some people want me to bypass Congress and change the laws on my own. But that's not how, that's not how our system works. If, in fact, I could solve all these problems without passing laws in Congress, then I would do so. But we're also a nation of laws. That's part of our tradition. In that Univision debate, the president specifically said this notion that mm -hmm. I can suspend deportation under executive action is just not true. You just can't do that. Right. But now the White House is saying, look, there's been a long line of Republicans that have done this, so this gives us uh, the ability to do that. George H.W. Bush uh, granted uh, amnesty, stopping deportations to a million illegal immigrants. They, even the White House saying this goes back to Ronald Reagan, also right. doing this very same thing. I have the authority to do it. Yeah, uh, there's a fellow by the name of Ross do do Dothat who... Uh, address that because yes. I've heard that argument a lot lately. It's wrong for this reason, uh, Clayton. Uh, they say that when Reagan and Bush Sr. both did it, it none of the programs were that big. Uh, they said uh, none of them transformed the major policy debate of the day. And the other thing is it was never used as blackmail against the Congress to do something they didn't want to do. Remember, essentially what they were doing was mopping up stuff from the original amnesty back in 86. Right. They granted amnesty to millions it a of illegals. Yeah, it just it cleaned things up. But that was passed by Congress. This is just getting shoved down people's throats. And the opinions of Americans regarding what the president about, uh, is about to do, I don't think the White House is going to like this. A plurality of Americans, more Americans oppose it than approve it. Make no mistake, Americans are behind doing something yes. about immigration, but having the president go it alone, we don't like it. It's not the what, it's the how. You know, exactly. Americans have seen dictatorship and that it doesn't go well. They've no. seen emperors, that it doesn't go well. They certainly don't want our nation to be a nation led by an emperor or a dictator. And that's what that survey there is indicating. Yeah, well, as Dana Perino says, why not put it before Congress? You're going to have battles within the right. Republican Party. But a good, uh, good opportunity to really, you know, stake your claim there. So. That's what they're for, there for, to do stuff like this. And we're not done with our top story. Up next, we wanted to know what you think about executive action on illegals. We're going to reveal the results coming up next. That's right.